Hey, hello, what's up? Uh, so, today, um, this is the first video where I'm going to have to issue a trigger warning. This video will contain a uh, discussion of the, uh, the note-taking application Evernote. If the mere mention of that word sends you into um, a frenzy, I, I, I'm letting you know beforehand. My opinion of Evernote is that I don't really have one anymore because it's undoubtedly changed quite a lot since I last used it. The last time I have uh, I used Evernote was in 2021, was and that was just to, I downloaded the Windows desktop app and then I just exported all of my notebooks. And I gotta say, like, when I, when I loaded it up there and I was using, you know, the app I was going through it, there was like a brand new, like, home, uh, home screen that you could customize and there's, like, it's a really, really beautiful program. It is super gorgeous, right? And I'm sure functionality has just improved and just gotten better than it did. They apparently have been going through uh, a number of price increases over the last couple years. So today, I will be using the uh, free tool available on GitHub called Yarl. Yarly, Yarl. I don't know which way it is pronounced. I'm going to say Yarl, Yarly. I'll say Yarly. I feel like that sounds more like an actual human word. By uh, GitHub user Akos Balako, A K O S B A L A S K O. I will have a link down there. You can go and use it. Um, there is um, pre built Windows, Linux, and Mac binaries. It is a GUI tool. So there is uh, an interface. You do not have to uh, mess with the command line at all if you do not want to. And what this will do um, is it will convert your Evernote export files, the .enex files that Evernote will, um, <laughs> the only format Evernote will export your stuff to, uh, proprietary Evernote format, um, into Markdown. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to point it at a directory that's got uh, a few Evernote export files in it. And then I'm going to toss those into Obsidian. I'm going to see what the results are. Um, the only prerequisite as far as um, stuff that it needs to run is it needs Node.js, which is, um, you know, there's a little link on that page there. It's also uh, just at nodejs.org. Um, I already have that installed, so I'm good to go. If you don't have it installed, um, you know, I'm on Windows, it's just a regular Microsoft install format. Double click it, let it do its thing, it'll be done, and then you're good to go. So I already have uh, a couple of my Evernote folders here in a directory. And then I already have uh, yet another rope ladder from Evernote, Yarly, uh, installed. Um, when I ran the executable for this, the installer, Windows gave me a little pop-up, Microsoft Defender, and it was like, yo, this is, we don't know who made this program, we're not going to let you run it, um, you have to click, I think it's advanced, and then you click run anyway, um, you know, if, uh, if after I do this, I get, like, bonsai buddies popping up on my computer, or weird pop-ups with, like, um, you know, suspicious stuff, I'll let you know, but I don't suspect that will happen. Select your ENEX files. So I've got a 16 meg file, a 16 meg file, so 1660, and I've got a 1 gig Evernote export file. I'm going to do the 60 gig one, I mean 60 meg one, 60 megs. Um, I'll do that one on its own. I'll see how long it takes, and then I'll do the Oh, target dialect, Obsidian, LogSeq, other standard markdown-based application. You know me, I'm an Obsidian boy. Um, omit links. Okay, so we got we got a hefty amount of uh, options to go through. Let's see how this is going to work. Omit links display name. Keep the original HTML. Um, convert web clips. Convert plain text notes only. Skip ENEX file name from output path. I mean, like, I, I didn't change really anything. I changed very little. Um, let's go next. Let's just see what happens. Set template. Created at block. Created at, created at. Okay, so this is a metadata right here. Pretty simple, but I love the fact that you can toss stuff in here. Um, 
So the tags are going to go into a code block, it looks like. So that's interesting. I didn't change anything. Pick output location. Uh, I've got like a, a very simple, like pretty much a plain vault. I'll toss, I'll toss it into and I'll just see how it looks like on its own. 128 notes succeeded, zero skipped, zero failed, total notes 128. Uh, so yeah, super, super sick, uh, super, super quick, less than a second to do uh, 128 notes. That was a 60 megabyte file. Let's see how that looks. So here we've got all the attachments. Um, I'm afraid to click on any of them uh, while recording just because I these are like, you know, really old notes. Like there's not going to be anything weird on there, right? But it's like there might be something that has like, uh, here's a picture of uh, my dog, my former dog. She passed away in uh, 2018, I believe. Her name was Aggie. She was, uh, as you can see, she was, in fact, the best dog ever. We have a bunch of receipts that I probably do not need. Um, it all looks very good. I got product keys. Okay, that, that's, uh, that's cool. I quite like that. Um, super quick. Um, let me toss in a different start conversion. It's like flashing like the name of the note. I've got my uh, accounting project in there. Let's see, when when was I in accounting class in college? 2012? Oh my god. Oh. About five minutes to do a um, gigabyte export file. 2,500 notes, which is like super, super fast, I think. Um, I have zero issue with that. So a lot of a lot of these actual notes won't be of much value to me because a lot of it will be like um, you know uh, a, a report part <laughs> report I did about uh, determining the feasibility of a home hydroponics installation business at the request of uh, someone. Uh, so if if I want to go through and uh, see what I thought of, about how feasible it would be to start certain types of businesses hypothetically uh, ten years ago, I'll have some inf insight into that. But for me, mostly what I have in here is a, um, a bunch of um, half-written stories, um, titles for stuff that um, I thought would be good that I never turned into anything, um, stuff like that. A lot of it's going to be like sketches and uh, comic uh, premises that I wanted to do, maybe even full comic scripts in some, some cases that um, I might want to... Um, integrate with my current like creative stuff that I'm working on and maybe some of those will be um good enough to <laughs> to uh completely re redo um and some of it I might just be like I don't even need to waste the kilobytes on saving this idea but just the fact that I don't know that I'll have I'll have it in uh, a non Evernote format um, you know, is a load off my mind, especially now that I know it's going to take me literally like, you know, 30 minutes to go through and do it for all of the export files I have. Uh, I mean, less than that. And yeah, all of the, um, all of the pictures seem to link up perfectly fine. So that is Yarly. That is all it takes to get your notes out of Evernote into a standard markdown format, semi-standard markdown format. Um, I mean, you can just tell it, LogSeq, Obsidian, or Standard Markdown, and it'll do it. Um, five minutes, maybe, to do a, a one gigabyte export file. You know, if you're interested in Obsidian, give it a shot. Um, but look look at Notion, look at, um, you know, Tana, Nimbus Notes, look at, look at all of them and see what's going to work for you, um, price-wise, feature-wise, and everything. If you want to be able to search through your notes using um, and, or, and uh, probably some other functions and uh, don't want to pay more than Netflix a month, uh, go on and export your notes and uh, get them into that uh, sweet, sweet standard Obsidian or LogSeq Markdown format.